What is up guys, it's your boy Rick Kakis and today we have got to talk about a weapon that Destiny 2 players, especially players within the hardcore PvE community are absolutely freaking out about. This is a weapon that could redefine the meta, it might be a new best in slot weapon and that weapon is the brand new Slammer Sword. Now, this is a new Nightfall weapon that was added into the loot pool within the most recent mid-season update that went live at the same day Guardian Games 2024 went live. And tomorrow, Tuesday, March 19th, is going to be the first time this weapon is available from the Nightfall that week. So guys, if you are able to run some Nightfalls, and especially if you can do some Grandmasters, it is absolutely going to be worth it. Now, why? What's with all the hype? Well, taking a look at the Slammer Sword, first of all, it is a stasis sword, which means it's only the second stasis sword in the entire game, with the only other one being the Zephyr from the Dawning. But on top of that, it's a vortex frame, so a spin to win sword. And that means this is the first stasis vortex frame sword in the entire game. So in terms of uniqueness, it has got that going in droves. In fact, another really unique factor is that this is only the second uh, sword ever that you can get the adept version for, with the only other one being the Sola's Scar from Trials of Osiris. Now, why does that matter? Well, when you get a normal Adept weapon, right, you can put on those Adept weapon mods. So you can get um, Adept range, Adept stability, and it just gives you plus 10 in that stat. Now, obviously that's good, but that isn't insane unless you have a sword. Because what's the only stat you can get on your sword? That's right. Impact, which means you can not only get Masterwork Impact plus 10 for more damage, you can get an Adept Impact mod if you get the Adept version and just slot on a mod that gives you outright more impact, aka more damage. Alright, so we're already absolutely cooking with gas and we haven't even taken a look at the perks, so let's do so on Light.gg. So, first of all, in terms of the blades, it's exactly what you would expect here, and you've got the normal guards as well. But, in terms of the first perk column, a very notable one here is actually Eager Edge. That's right, it can get Eager Edge, and it's only the third sword in the entire game that can get either Eager Edge, with the only two other ones being from Dares of Attorney, being from the 30th anniversary update. Like, it's been a while since we've had an Eager Edge sword. Additionally, Eager Edge is here in the left column, which means you can combine it with a damage increasing perk, and we'll talk about that in a sec. So the speedrunning community is absolutely hyped for another Eager Edge sword. But if you don't care about Eager Edge, you don't like it, it can also get the S++ tier sword perk Relentless Strikes to get ammo back when you're attacking bosses. Heck, it can even get a Pugilist and Chain Reaction for some fun combos as well. But in the second column is really where things get absolutely bonkers, and the main thing people are looking at is bait and switch. That's right, the first sword in the entire game. You, you've noticed I've said that a lot during this video. Uh, that can get bait and switch. So if you switch between uh, three different weapons and end on your sword, you're going to get a 35% previous, but it was nerfed to a 30% damage bonus. That is still insane. Something like Whirlwind Blade is traditionally what you go for when you're talking about like top tier sword DPS. However, Whirlwind Blade does take a while to ramp up in damage. Bait and Switch is arguably easier to activate, especially like think of it in, from the perspective of using a sword. You're running at, you know, for example, Crota, you, you pop something at him uh, with your primary and your special as you're just heading towards him, and by the time you get to Crota, you start smacking with your sword. Now, if you think of another weapon like a rocket launcher, like the Apex Predator with bait and switch, you have to use a rocket to trigger bait and switch. That first rocket won't get bait and switch damage, it's all the other rockets that will. Now, one rocket 
is a big chunk of your reserve rockets. But think of a sword. You get like 60 sword rounds, one swing of the sword to activate bait and switch. Who cares? So 99.9% .9 of your ammunition in total in terms of a sword will all just be getting the bait and switch damage. So bait and switch on a sword could be absolutely juiced. And the combo of Eager Edge plus bait and switch, like every hardcore PvE player is going for that like times a million. However, again, you could go just for the Relentless Strikes plus Bait and Switch combo for the Mega DPS roll. However, that's not all. So it can also get, because it's Stasis, Cold Steel. Powered Sword hits slow targets. And guys, this was actually buffed somewhat recently, so Light Attacks will apply 40 slow stacks and Heavy Attacks will apply 60. And remember guys how slow stacks work is that when you get to 100 slow stacks on an enemy, they will actually freeze. And even if they're a boss, they'll freeze for one second and then instantly shatter. And that shatter will do damage. So cold steel can provide a significant increase to overall DPS. But we've never seen cold steel on a vortex frame before. And the theory is that potentially when you do your heavy attack and spin around and hit the target multiple times, could each one of those hits from your heavy attack apply more and more and more and more cold stacks? So like potentially with a vortex frame specifically, depending on how this is programmed, you could actually shatter like a single target, you know, three times with a single spin of a vortex frame. We don't know. This is all hype. We've never had this in the game before. So again, no one actually knows. We'll find out when the sword is finally available. But if it does work like that, you know, bait and switch could be completely out. It could be just like the cold steel new sword DPS meta where it's just doing so many shatters, right? It's just completely taking over uh, in terms of the DPS. Now, the important part is that only one person on the team can really uh, run this and take advantage of shattering a target that fast, but still, that is something absolutely to keep an eye out for. And so guys, all of those reasons are why people are hyped for the Slammer Sword. And speaking for myself, I'm going to be absolutely living inside Grandmasters starting tomorrow until I can get one or more of the potential god rolls. Like, the insane thing about the Slammer is that even though the Eager Edge plus Bait and Switch roll is the most hyped, like Relentless and Cold Steel also being a part of these potential god rolls uh, is something Thing I think people are overlooking. There is some alternative roles that are absolutely bonkers with this sword as well. So again, it could be an absolute game changer, especially depending on how Cold Steel is programmed. Like this could be the new best DPS sword in the entire game. Like we just don't know, but we do know, you know, Eager Edge plus Bait and Switch or Eager Edge plus whatever, that is going to be insane. That's super rare. And that is something that pretty much everyone is going to want on their account. Guys, that is it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.